Well, many people agree tonight there is truly a problem with our political system in Washington, D.C. In fact, some state lawmakers believe the best way to fix it is to actually fix the United States Constitution. So, for the very first time in the history of our entire country, state lawmakers may form a group that would trump the federal government. Here's Eyewitness News political reporter Kevin Rader who explains what this is all about. And I want to welcome each of you to the first official gathering of appointed delegates for the purpose of discussing a convention of the states in 227 years. With that, Indiana Senator David Long opened the second meeting of the Mount Vernon Assembly. The first convened behind closed doors at George Washington's historic home last December. The second meeting and the first open to the media started Thursday in Indianapolis. I'm going to ask you a question. Which Washington do you want to emulate? Over 100 delegates from 33 states are participating, which holds particular significance because it takes the consent of 34 states to allow for the amending of the United States Constitution. And obviously with the turnout we've got today, we are, we are accomplishing that. Such a move that would bypass Congress has become a rallying cry for the states who see Washington, D.C. as a problem that needs to be addressed. Every conversation starts with a what and it ends with a how. And that's where it derails. So the Mount Vernon Assembly is trying to lay the foundation that solves that problem. But the temptation is to discuss the problems a first constitutional convention would have to address. And I think it's important that we reel ourselves back and think about the how, not the what. Today and tomorrow are about the how. There is another issue. The state lawmakers are not immune to the same issue that hampers the progress in Washington. Um, that's probably the most common email that I get or communication that I get from my constituents is um, they don't trust us to do the right thing and that's why they worry there's going to be a runaway convention. So this group is walking a fine line. State lawmakers from all across America are asking voters to trust them that they can fix what is wrong in Washington by changing the Constitution. Well, not everyone's in lockstep on that idea. Not everyone believes that the Constitution is the problem. In Indianapolis, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Kevin, thank you. And while a majority of lawmakers participating are Republicans, there are also some Democrats, including State Senator Jim Arnold from LaPorte, Indiana. Former 